Hello everyone. Um, I wanted to share with you a project that has been in the works and um, <clears throat> it's completed but first I would like to share the products that I used for um, the altered box that I made. Um, I used black dauber paint which is um, excuse me, pitch black. This is um, pitch black. I used um, Dabber Paint in Espresso, Dabber Paint in Gold. I used two types of crackled paint. This one is peeled paint, and I also use um, Pewit, which is a silver color. Um, and this is Making Memories Gems. I got this at Michael's. I got all this stuff at Michael's. And I used stickles. I just wanted to, um, this is not the stickles that I used. I used, um, the stickles and walnut. And I also used, um, perfect pearls in gold and ink, either in vintage photo or, I think it was vintage photos or old days, something like that. But, Let's let's move this out of the way so you guys can see what uh, what I'm talking about. Okay. So basically this is the box. Unfortunately, I do not know the number the the name of the green paper. It came in a, a bundle. I think it was a spring package. And it has like a wood grain to it. It's really nice. I like it. It's my favorite. Um, I have to find some more of it. Um, okay, so basically, one, two, three images from the cartridge print manor. I did not use my gypsy for this. Um, so this one was cut at these dress forms, I think either one or two with no extra features and this is um, cut out at three the mirror is cut out at three or four this is some Tim Holtz paper and this is this and this is for regular cardstock but I painted this in the double gold the S is chipboard colored in the pitch black used with perfect pearls um, that shimmer hopefully you guys can see it is um, what I'm talking about, it's in gold. Um, perfect pearls all over the place. Um, walnut stain is on the um, dress forms and they're colored. I also painted them in the espresso. Um, and this is um, a crown from Tattered Angels. Um, more of the espresso paint. This was colored. This is colored with the. Um, the ink and colored also with um, perfect pearls and gold. The edging and then like I said I just colored it. the the actual edge edge is done in um, the paint, the espresso. I also painted this with dauber gold and this is um, a pink stamper stamp set, I forgot which one, um, made by me and this is a Grinch board heart, um, colored in the peel paint, and also um, a little bit of um, of the ink. The brown ink is on it. So that's the top. This one is um, a crown that I had to alter. What I mean is, it was all the way up here, so I just cut it and I just glued the pieces back on to make it um, work better. This is painted also again in that crackle paint but this is the Pewit like I was telling you it's a silver and this is gold this is dauber gold and this is um, 
sickles just I rubbed it on with my fingers um this paint this is um another cardstock um flower this is cut out at I think it was one or two um and that's using the home decor cartridge um I forgot where I got this oval from but this is a grunge board heart and it's colored in the gold paint using the um, flat pearls for making memories um this is just brown browns and golds from from the collection that I told you about earlier um this is black and gold and this is from I think this is from the samplings Cricut and this is cut at 4 or 5 and I just basically I used my fingers and I kind of got some perfect pearls all over the place so what I did was I used some water and I colored in the paper I kind of you know just use you know my fingers to just make it more distressed with the pearls the black and, and a little bit of the gold and this is another heart um, flower from the home decor and this is cut out of one or two and the gem is from my eye rock and another grunge board this is a uh, grunge board heart and this is colored with some gold and black um, I use ink for this one just regular ink and the brown and the purple pearl this is another home decor on paper, most of the paper here is just um cardboard. I mean, not cardboard, cardstock, regular cardstock. And this is um brown card, I think. Or did I paint that? Oh, yeah, I paint this with the copper and the not the copper, the espresso, the ink, and the um a little bit of the gold. And this is home decor. This is cut at two or three, another flower, and I just rolled up the edges. And um, I added the eye rock gem because I wanted a smaller gems. Um, this is Tim Holtz paper one and two. Um, basically, what I did for all of it to give it a smooth edge, I just wrapped it in. Um, and I'll talk about the inside in a minute. This is cut at three or four using um, hearts. For making memories and what I did was I used one that I cut too small the lock the top piece and I just added it to the um, top part so it looks 3d and what I did was I used um, a brush on my fingers to cut colored the inside of the lock with um, the espresso and then I just covered it with some ink using my fingers. And then this is cut with the home decor. This lock is from um, French Manor. These branches are from home decor. And that's basically it for this. Yes, I covered all that. Now the inside is colored just basically with dauber um, paint in espresso and also colored with... Um, the perfect pearls um, in gold. The bottom part is inked with the ancient, uh, I'm gonna say, antique lace or um, antique photo. I, I keep forgetting and I can't seem to find the ink. I must have moved it to my other room. Um, and a little bit of perfect pearls to it and um, and I also stamped me by me in black. I don't know if you can see that. So that's basically the altered box that I need. I hope that you all liked it. It's like I said, it's been a labor of love. I've been doing it on and off for about yeah, for about a month or half of a month um, since my little guy was home. So I hope that this will not be my last altered box. Um, I hope that you enjoyed it. And um, I'll be back with another project, so bye for now everyone.